pronounce my name perfectly. It's Shun Uru. That's exactly what we're talking about. Yes, indeed. Happy to be here, guys. Pleasure to be here. Uh, Andres has done a fantastic job in this uh, second of three halves. I uh, thought Germans were good at math. Apparently not. Uh, I will say, I, I'm from New Jersey. It's in the United States of America. Yes, indeed. Uh, I just want to say, like, I'm going to just say Mel's knowledge of geography is a shocking indictment of the Irish educational system. And I'm saying that as an American. I'm just like, I'm, I, this isn't comedy, I just want this is a teachable moment for Mel. Uh, there is no country in the world called Kazakhstan. Uh, so you, can't, you can't just pop an extra A in where you want, you know? There's no Germani, you know? Like, there's, there's the right amount of A's in every word, you know? And how many times can you disrespect a Slovak man by calling him Czech? Next question was going to be, which part of Mexico is that in? You know? <laughs> oh, man, hell. oh, man, it's great to be here. Uh, I live in Prague. Um, I always appreciate coming to Germany. I love coming to Germany. Uh, I love coming to Munich. Like, coming to Munich, it answers an age-old question. What would Prague be like if there was never communism? You know, like, that's Munich. Because like, Prague has beautiful beer gardens. Like, they're, they're lovely, the beer is good, but there's no food. You know, so they haven't, they, they haven't realized that they have food now. You know, just like you have it, like you can serve it, you know? I love Germany. I love Germany. I spent a lot of time in Coburg, uh, up in Thuringia. I got, a, I got a buddy who was uh, in the army there, uh, in Vilsack. And, uh, you know, he did a classic American uh, army move. Got a German girl pregnant and stayed in Germany. So I'm going to put it in Coburg. It's really fun going to Coburg because like, he's not the only one that did it. It's just a bunch of like black American soldiers that met German girls and got them pregnant. So like, you know, every time I'm there, like, you know, I'll see like some black dudes and they're like, they're speaking German. And they're like, all is cool, you know, bit the shit. And they're saying things like that. You know, and I walk up and like, ich bin schon. I'm like, oh, what's up, man? I'm DeAndre. You know, it's a, it's a special place. Only in Coburg, you know? I love learning about Germany. I'm trying to expand my knowledge. Um, um, a couple of years ago, I went up to Dresden for a Pegida rally. Um, I just wanted to like see what they're all about, you know? Like, like what, what's this? What's this whole fuss about the Pegida stuff, you know? And I was thinking, like, but like I couldn't figure out. I was like, what does Pegida stand for? But by the end of the rally, I, I figured it out. It's people from East Germany ignorantly demonizing Arabs. That's what Pegida stands for. Oh man. So guys, I'm a teacher. Uh, I'm a primary school teacher. I teach fifth graders. Uh, I teach like ten year old kids. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But the thing is, when you're a teacher in Prague, like, the level of English in the Czech Republic is not like it is in Germany. So when people are teachers in Prague, everyone assumes you're an English teacher. So when I say I'm a teacher in the Czech Republic, I have to give my entire professional history in like three seconds before someone can like, kind of turn their head to the side and be like, an English teacher? And I was like, yeah, I'm a teacher. I started off in Newark, New Jersey, which is like Diet Baghdad. I was teaching kids who were gang members that were incarcerated to reintegrate in the school system. And then I started teaching in a town called Bound I was teaching kids with bipolar disorder. Then I moved to Prague, started working at a shitty international school. Then I started working at a good public, good public school. Then I moved to Mexico. And then I moved back to Prague. I'm a teacher, motherfucker. It's not easy. It's not easy being a primary school teacher. Because the thing is, like, Every time your students are talking to you, like these little 10 year old kids, there's what you have to say to them, and then what you want to say to them. <laughs> you know, like, some of the students are like 10, and the boys always want to show you their little cards that they have. You know, like they have, all, they have the little cards they collect, they want to show me their cards. So some kid comes up, he's like, oh, check out my Pokemon card. Like, I just got the new Pokemon card. And so what I have to say is like, oh wow, what a great Pokemon, Charmander, what a fucking great Pokemon that is, you know? Like, what I want to say is, you got about two years before people start beating the shit out of you for playing with those things. So like, enjoy every moment, you know? Enjoy every moment. You know, then fucking Bohuslav will come up and be like, I got a Fortnite card. Ooh, like Fortnite. Fortnite, every t that video game makes me feel like an old man. Because I don't understand it. And I don't want to understand it because I hate it, and I don't need to understand it. And I was like, fuck your Fortnite, go who's lost. Fuck it. Oh. So like, they want to show me their soccer cards. Because I will not say football yet, I haven't been in Europe long enough. It's soccer. Like, oh, I just got this Cristiano Ronaldo card. Like, he has a lot of rape allegations against him. One of them is credible. Find a better role model. You know, that's what I want to say. My girls, my female students always want to show me their drawings, you know? They'll run up and like, oh, 
Mr. Reardon, look at my drawing. I'm like, oh my God, Anishka, that's such a beautiful dog. She's like, it's a horse. You're not like, you're not that good at drawing. My God, like, no, sorry, sorry, no, I, I, sorry. I just, uh, my contact was a little blurry there. I, it's a beautiful pony. She's like, it's an adult horse. <laughs> Anishka, you have other skills, all right? This isn't one of them. Like, oh, it's hard. Like, when kids are 10, they're old enough to listen to really shitty music but they're not old enough for me to tell them what they should listen to. You know, because they just listen to basically like trap music, you know, like trap hip-hop, which sounds the exact same in every language. It's like, it's, it's the same in every language. You check it sounds uglier, but like it's the same in every language. Like, so I can tell them like, oh, that's not a very good song. But what I can say is, you motherfuckers need to start listening to Tupac. Like I was doing it 10 years old. Grow your ass up. You don't even know who Biggie is. <laughs> it's hard, guys. Another hard thing about being a teacher is parent meetings. Uh, I've been a teacher in a few countries. I've been a teacher in the United States, uh, in Spain, in Mexico, and in the Czech Republic. And they're all different. Like, in the U.S., I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey is 21% uh, of the population is immigrants. So every time you have a parent meeting, generally the parents are from another place. And when a kid fucks up, the parent meeting is basically the father threatening to send the kid back to whatever country they're from. <laughs> And it always involves a field somewhere, you know? It's like, yeah, you know, so, you know, John threw a pencil across the room and hit a girl in the head. He's like, I'm gonna send you back to the goddamn field! He's like, Dad, you're from Toronto. He's like, I'm in a fucking field, you know? That's Spain parent meetings were a little different. You know, we'd have a parent meeting at, at 10 o'clock in the morning. We'd start promptly at 11.30. <laughs> Talk for about 10 minutes and then have a two hour break that lasted the rest of the day. You know, it's just a little different. In, in the Czech Republic, it's good. You know, like you know, generally the parents are nice; they're they're agreeable. But it gets a little communisty sometimes. Like the, uh, I, like you know, to say like, yeah, listen, uh, Yaroslav, uh, you know, he said fuck in class. I will tell Yaroslav that this behavior is not acceptable in our society. He's like, I agree with the message, but why do I feel less free all of a sudden? You know. It's like, <laughs> Whereas in Mexico, the parent meetings, it's like a telenovela, you know? Like, Mrs. Santiago Gor Gomez Ortiz Sanchez. Rodrigo drew a penis on his desk. <laughs> hey, guys! What have I done to you? To deserve Mr. Someone draws penises on beds! Why? Why? Oh my God, never did it, right? Oh, it's just it's different, you know? It's different. The hardest thing about being a primary school teacher is Monday morning. Because on Monday morning, the kids are going to tell you what they did over the weekend. <laughs> and what that means is they are going to say the most normal, mundane shit ever, but they're going to say it like it's the most important thing that ever happened in human history, and you just have to mash them on that energy, you know? Like, sit at my desk at 7.30 on a Monday morning thinking normal teacher thoughts, like, you know, like, this isn't my whole life, right? I have all these skills. <laughs> Anishka comes up, she's like, Mr. Reardon, you're not going to believe what happened to me this weekend. Like, what happened? Like, I saw a brown dog. Like, oh, oh shit, a brown one? Damn, I see black dogs, striped dogs, spotted dogs, every day, but brown dogs? Brown dogs are my shit. That's what's up, Anishka, hell yeah. Woo. Back to my desk, normal Czech public school teacher thoughts, going through the history textbook, Vratislav the first, Vratislav the second, but first, what the fuck is Vratislav? And, then, and fucking Jan comes up, Jan's like, whoa, Mr. Reardon, you are not gonna fucking believe what happened to me on Saturday. I'm like, watch your mouth, Jan. What happened on Saturday? He's like, I went to my friend's birthday parties. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Your friend's birthday party? What? Your friend is still, he keeps living. He's still alive. Fuck yeah, y'all. Woo. Good shit, baby. Sit down. Woo. Back to my desk, opening my science textbook. In the Czech Republic, you have to teach them about mushrooms. There are seven pages about mushrooms. They have to know what the little thing underneath the mushrooms is called in English. They're called gills, guys. That's useless information. Who will teach your thoughts when Frosty Slav the Third comes in? Busts in is like, <sighs> Mr. Weird. I gotta tell you what happened to me this weekend. Alright, what's, what's up, Rusty Slav the Third, man? What happened? I went to my grandma's house. So what the fuck did you just say to me? Your grandma's house? 
The one that lives in Slovakia? You don't even get to see her that much. She made your favorite? She made the fucking potatoes with the meat, which is all of the food in Slovakia, but they have different names? Fuck yeah, bro. So until they find me dead of a heart attack at about 7.45 on a Monday morning in Prague, you can find me doing comedy. My name is Sean Reed, and thank you very much. Thank you.